if you are currently funded on an NIH training grant, then you probably know very well what an IDP is. It's required yearly. Um, really uh, use this opportunity to work with your mentors to identify those gaps, gaps in didactic training, experiential training, professional development that uh, you can use uh, to create a really good career development plan and get some create, think of some creative ways to integrate or to achieve your uh, training goals that don't just require taking the course. And you can use your mentorship panel to get those creative juices flowing. And this may seem obvious, you know, of course you're going to want to use preliminary data, um, but the key, the key word I'd like to focus on here is independent studies. So, you know, that can be a challenge, right, because your mentor, they have grants that fund certain projects and it's while they may be willing to give you the project it's not just that they're willing to give it to you but that on paper it's going to come across as independent work for you to launch into when you are preparing a k application so you know it's not just establishing that that it's possible from a you know personal level but how is this going to read on paper so i'll give you an example you know i did i i was trained as a mouse immunologist uh studying type 1 diabetes and, and autoimmune disease and so what i ended up deciding to do from a strategic standpoint because i was staying at the same institution there's no way i could put in a k application saying that i was going to do mouse type and diabetes there was no review in the world that was going to let that fly as as seemingly an independent line of work, and so I decided to transition into, you know, translational studies focused on a few different human autoimmune diseases, um, and and so that kind of, you know, for the specific example of the type of diabetes work, I'm actually using that for R01 applications, um, and I don't think there's anybody that's really questioning that that's mine, if that makes sense. Um, and you know, when you're new and just starting out. That's actually a really important thing for people to believe, either at the K level, that it's going to lead to, you know, your ability to build your program, or even at the R level, that, that you really can do this, that this isn't somebody whispering in your ear, this is yours. So look for those opportunities and be strategic about what pieces you decide to, to take and run with. 